Welcome to my channel, Journey of the World with Sergo. Today I will tell you about the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest high-rise structure, 163 floors and 828 meters, situated in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It has a stalagmite-like, cave lime outgrowth form. The Burj Khalifa Tower's development history, how did everything start? In reality, work on the tower didn't start until 1995, when Sheikh Mohamed, the more ambitious younger brother, took over running the business from Sheikh Muqtam Ibn Rashid. By bringing together the best and most distinctive elements of the Emirates, he determined the UAE must become a global hub for tourism. The Burj Al Arab Hotel, Palm Island, and Dubai downtown, where the Khalifa Tower is situated, all soon became visible. The architect, who is he? The American firm Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, which established itself by creating Chinese skyscrapers, was behind the Burj Khalifa project. Adrian Smith was given the assignment of designing the tower. He was going to top himself once more as the world's tallest building. The process of selecting the project? Smith created the building on paper for two years. The end outcome was a project with a 518-meter height record. But Sheikh Mohamed, the client, rejected the architect's suggestion. Five options were created after some time. This time, the architect issued a demand that one of them must be accepted without question. Thus, the project for the tower with an 828-meter height was approved in 2004. It is amazing that the skyscraper's height and number of stories were kept a secret while it was being built. This was done on purpose so that the Emirates government would have time to change the original design to a higher one if a rival tower were to suddenly materialize on the planet. The cost of the construction is kept a secret by the nation's authorities. Although the official amount of $4 billion is occasionally used, certain sources claim that substantially more was actually spent on the skyscraper's construction. 110,000 tons of concrete and 55,000 tons of steel were required to complete the Khalifa Tower project. The materials used in the building weigh the same as 100,000 elephants. A fourth of the planet's equator's length is made up of the reinforcements utilized in the structure. The country's government concealed the expense of the construction. Even while the $4 billion official figure is regularly cited, several sources assert that significantly more money was actually spent on the skyscraper's construction. The Khalifa Tower project requires the use of 55,000 tons of steel and 110,000 tons of concrete. The building's components weigh the equivalent of 100,000 elephants. The reinforcements used in the construction make up one-fourth of the length of the planet's equator. 22 million man-hours went into building the Burj Khalifa. 12,000 people were on the site simultaneously on the days when the labor was particularly intense. This extensive participation allowed the tower's construction to proceed at a rate of one or two stories per week. A strike while work is being done? Those who suffered the most were the Asian laborers. They were prepared to work for incredibly meager pay. The tower's history underwent a sea change in 2006. The workers went on strike as a result of the intolerable working conditions, particularly the lack of water, meal breaks, and low pay. Construction resumed the following day after the Emirati government urgently complied with the demonstrators' requests. Opening day for the Khalifa Tower was January 4, 2010. The building's construction was initially expected to be finished by 2009, but challenges emerged because of the region's hot heat. At times, workers had to continue erecting the structure at 41 degrees Celsius. 
In order to get around these, the Dubai government employed 300 Chinese scientists who were entrusted with researching and combining the toughest materials suitable for such high temperatures into the building. The solution was the creation of a unique concrete mix that contained ice and was only placed at night. The project's completion was also delayed when financing for the final six months of the tower's construction was largely curtailed. Inside and out, the Khalifa Tower Infrastructure of the Building The Khalifa Tower is an 828 meter tall, 163 story structure that is in use. Its inside contains the 163 story Khalifa Tower, 828 meters high, is an active building. Inside are hotels with 300 apartments. 900 residential units, offices, fitness centers, swimming pools, on the 43rd and 76th levels, eateries, with the most serious being atmosphere on the 122nd floor, mosque. The building has three separate entrances, one each for the hotel, office building, and individual apartments. Buildings in the area. Fountain in Dubai. The fountain in Dubai is located next to a skyscraper in an artificial lake of about 12 hectares. It is illuminated by about 50 large floodlights. In total, more than 6,000 light sources are used. The fountain is 175 meters high and 275 meters long. Arabic classical and contemporary music is used as the musical accompaniment to the play of light and water. Shopping Center in Dubai In 2009, the Dubai Mall was built near the base of the tower, extending the concept of a luxury shopping and business district known as Dubai Downtown. The mall has an area of 1.2 million square kilometers, one of the largest areas ever recorded. The following businesses are located in the shopping city, a complex called the Golden Market. The largest theme park in the United Arab Emirates is Sega Republic. 70 stores and showrooms are located in Fashion Island. Kidzania Children's Entertainment Complex of 8,000 square meters, one of the largest oceanariums on the planet, a movie theater with 22 screens for watching movies, an ice rink large enough to host the Olympics. Interesting information. World records held by the Khalifa Tower include the tallest building above the ground in use today and throughout the history of human construction includes the tallest independent building, tallest structure, the structure with the greatest number of stories, 211 if you include the levels at the spire end of the tower, a structure in which the last floor is the last floor, the fastest and highest elevator, 504 meters long, the height of the concrete foundation at the highest point. The most elevated observation deck, the snack bar, located at the highest height, 442 meters, the nightclub on the 144th floor, which is the highest, the staircase with the highest number of steps, 2,909. Compared to the Eiffel Tower, the Khalifa Tower is three times higher. The design carefully considers the reuse of resources, which is extremely important, especially in a desert climate. About 40 million liters of water are collected here annually through a condensate collection system, which is used for irrigation, landscaping, the cooling system, and the Dubai Fountain. Subscribe and like me. I'm happy to do my best for you. See you in the next video.